doing curry chicken. One of my favorites. Ooh, so, okay, I'm seeing the chicken, I'm seeing the potatoes. So can you tell me what else? What else are we putting in this curry chicken? Well, what we're gonna start off with actually is with oil. Oh, vegetable oil. Yes. There we go. We're gonna add some celery, cilantro, onions, potatoes, carrots, of course the chicken. Uh-huh. Curry powder. Yep. Some red chili peppers. Ooh. So can you tell them about marinating? Yes, the chicken. Here's what I do. I put it the day before, mm -hmm. add some basil. Okay. Some parsley flakes, some seasoned salt, yes. garlic. Put it all together and one tablespoon of curry. So wait, let me get this straight. You're putting, you're marinating it with curry powder before and then also putting it in the pot later? Exactly. Guys, it adds flavor. There we go. All right, let's start cutting up the vegetables. Okay, perfect. This. Just get three uh, celery sticks. Mm -hmm. And just chop them, you know, finely. Okay, cool. So, very small pieces. Yeah. Then the onions. Yeah, you, you know you should always cut an onion from the bottom. Really? Why? I don't know, that's what they say. Do you I have any do tricks? So like, I, I swear, like when you cut onions, mom, you never cry. So like, what's your secret? I'm like, cry. Stop crying, you gotta cook anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so you cut them up. Okay. Dice them up. This turns out to be about a cup okay. of onions. Okay. Okay, so you cut them up finely. And then the cilantro. Take a couple eggs and just cut them up. Okay. Yeah. Add that to it. And now we're ready to add these to the uh, the vegetable oil. You turn your um to the pot on. Okay. You put the oil in, let it get a little hot, and then you add these three ingredients. Okay, perfect. So then while that's cooking, what are we doing over here with the potatoes? What's going on? Then we're cutting up the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, take the whole potatoes, peel them. You know I love the peeler. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. I don't know about you guys, but if you remember, I just have this fascination. Yes. With the peelers. You, did you, okay, so you guys have to go back to our zucchini squash episode. This is my second peeler. The first one I got in San Francisco and we were doing the zucchini squash episode and yes. she took my peeler back to Florida with her. So I had to buy a second one. It's awesome. I'm telling you, they're just fascinating to me. I remember growing up, you know, it's all about the knife and peeling. Oh, this was a great invention. <laughs> so you peel the potato. <laughs> I would say you do them in a half inch. And um, you know, cut it in four. Next to the chicken, the potatoes are my favorite, guys. Like, I mean, it's just all in big pots. And then, I, and then I went ahead and I just got the baby carrots. Okay. Instead of the regular carrots, where you peel them and then you cut them off and then okay. you put them in. Whichever you prefer, that's fine. You can do that. So those go in, but those don't go in. You put the chicken in after you saute the vegetables. Yes. Um, you put the chicken in and you leave that in for a little bit. Mm -hmm. You add um, the water, add 16 ounces of water, uh, the um, chili red pepper. Red chili pepper, cool. Yeah, two tablespoons of the curry. Yes. And you add that in with the water. Okay. And you let that simmer for a little bit. Then you'll add the potatoes and the carrots. Ooh. So wait, can we just like explain why this chicken is in a bag right now? What's going on? Oh, the chicken is in the bag. You know why? Because here's what I do. I add that little seasoning. You know, the basil, the parsley, the garlic, the season, and then um, one tablespoon of the curry powder. Mm -hmm. And you put that in a plastic bag, Ziploc bag, whatever bag you want, and you put it in a bag and you put it in a refrigerator to marinate. Yeah. And it keeps the smell from going all through the refrigerator. This is amazing. So I have no idea this trick. So you get that, and, and that way, you know, it keeps everything all together and it flavors, the flavoring is awesome. That's great. All right, mom, so let's like get this part started and head over to the stove. Let's do that. Let's turn on the stove. You should turn the stove on to a medium. Okay. And I love the gas stove. Don't you love that sound? Gas stoves are the best. I always get on gas stove. I told you guys that. Well, electric is good too, so don't knock it. Okay, let's get the kind of a little warm. Okay. You add in your uh, two tablespoons of oil. 
That's the two tablespoons. Heat that up. It heats really fast on a gas stove. So, yeah. So we're adding the onions, the celery, the cilantro. Wait until they're a little transparent before we add the chicken. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Look at that. And you just add the, the chicken. Just go ahead and add them in there. All right, so we're over here and uh, we have had the chicken simmering for about, I would say about 15 minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and add the potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and also add the carrots. We're gonna add two tablespoons of the curry. And I know how to do this, so I'm, you know, I know what two tablespoons look like. You but, must measure. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't, definitely measure. Measure, yeah, I've done this one too many times. And as I said about the pepper, you just do it according to how much you want. But this red chili pepper is pretty hot. So, I mean, just a dash or two. If you don't like too much spice, then don't add a dash or two, just add one dash. Or maybe go without, it just depends, okay? Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is add 16 ounces of water, and that's over that. Stir this up just a little bit. Get some of those potatoes to the bottom. All right, so once you got it well turned over, we have some of the potatoes, make sure they're down in there. Just go ahead, add the cover back to the pot. Make sure it's on medium and let that simmer. It should simmer for about another 30, 35 minutes. Wow, I think we're ready over here. The curry chicken is done. Ooh, it smells so good. Mmm, okay. Need my help? Yes. Okay. All right, look at this. Oh, it's just falling off the bone. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. So, what's like oh, an amazing time for you to like make this dish? Anytime you're hungry. Anytime you're hungry, okay. I would say definitely like a friend's party or any type of party, you're right. Yeah, this is awesome. We could just, oh, uh, let's just get the gravy in there. Let's just put it in there. There we oh, go. Look at this. Oh man. I mean, and this can feed an army. You got roommates, bring them over. You'll be good. You got friends that just show up to your house for no reason, bring them over. If <laughs> Antoine's coming, don't cook. <laughs> Add a little cilantro in here. Oh, uh, look at this. So uh, just garnish it. There we go. And I like to put one in the center. Oh, look at that. And there you go. Curry chicken island style. Ooh. All right, you guys, for this recipe and more of my other recipes, go to www.cookingwithcarlina.com and also check me out on Instagram at cookingwithcarlina. Thank you, Mom. This is amazing. Curry chicken. Thank you.